snack Me and you gonna have a little chat about them Hi guys! So I am here today to do part two of my birthday book haul. I am going to be dividing it into three parts. The first part is all of the books that I got, so I'll put a link to that down below. This is the second part, which is going to be talking about all the graphic novels I got. And then the third part will be all my dissertation books that I got, which are actually going to be quite interesting, so look out for that coming soon. So I'm going to show you the stuff I got myself first, and then I'll show you some of the things that I got given by friends and my boyfriend. The first things that I got, I actually bought myself 10 single issues because I cannot for the life of me find them anywhere and I bought these on Comixology because they are out of print everywhere in the world, doesn't seem very easy to get them so even though I asked in my comic shop they said yeah we're not going to be able to get these for you. Numbers 1 through 5 of Lady Mechanica which is by Joe Benitz. I really really loved the first one that I read which was the single issue of Lady Mechanica issue 0. I loved it, I thought it was excellent, and then I went to go and buy the next ones and I just could not find them. I then went online and I managed to find them digitally, so I have been reading them digitally. And then I also went and picked up numbers 1 through 5 of Lady Mechanica Tablet of Destinies, which again is by Joe Benitz, and I really really am excited to read all of them. I've already read issue 1 of the first series, but I am really excited to read all of the rest of them. I just, yeah, I love the art style of these, I think it's incredible and I cannot wait to read it and then chat to you guys and be like, go and buy it because it's awesome. It's basically a sort of steampunk, flintlock-esque fantasy with crazy stuff going on. There are a few busty ladies, I will say that, but it is just awesome. The art style is fabulous and I really, really love it where the story is going so I'm really excited to see how it continues and I thought I would buy myself them as a birthday present to me because I just really wanted them and I couldn't find them anywhere so I had to get them online. I did also buy a few other things with birthday money so I'm going to show you them. The first of these I have actually already read and that is From Under Mountains, it's by Gibson, Leong and Churchland and I picked this one up because I believe it is a spin-off of the Eight House series. I've done a review of the Eight House books or at least it will be up in the next few days if it's not already. I really like the first two issues of Eight House and I really really enjoyed the concepts and the art. This is a sort of spin-off, it's sort of set in a similar world, I don't know if it's exactly the same but it definitely has similar ideas and similar magic systems and magic ideas. It's all revolving around runes and I really really like this, it was really fun but it was obviously quite short. I didn't love the art style as much in this one because it's done by Sloane Leong instead of by Marion Churchland, but I did still really enjoy it, so I'm going to be looking out for the next few in this series, and I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I'll probably be doing a proper review where I show you the artwork a little bit later on. Next, I decided to pick up a whole series, and that is the Phonogram books. This is volume 1. It is by Kieran Gillan and Jamie McKelvey, who you probably know work on The Wicked and the Divine. It's called Rue Britannia. And this one is actually in black and white, the later ones are not in black and white. And it says, Britannica is ten years dead. Phonomancer David Cole hasn't spared his old patron a thought for almost as long, at which point his mind starts to unravel. Can he discover what's happened to the mod goddess of Britpop whilst there's still something of himself left? really have no idea what it's about, honestly. But I know that I love The Wicked and the Divine, and I love the art style, and I love the story that they've created for that. So I thought it was well worth picking this up and trying it out, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. And then alongside that, I also then picked up the second volume, which is this one. It's called Phonogram The Singles Club. Again, it's by Gillan and McKelvey. And this one actually is in colour, which I'm really excited about because I love, love, love the colour illustrations that they do. And the story itself looks really interesting. And I really have no idea what the story is about other than music and how music can change your life, I suppose. And then I also picked up these two, which is issue one and issue two of Phonogram The Immaterial Girl. And I believe this is an ongoing series, or one that's only just started. And this one, again, is by the same people, and I think it's the start of the third volume, the first two issues of what will become the third volume. So, very excited to read all of them. Again, these ones are in colour, and it's the same art style as before. So, picked all of those up for myself. Really, really looking forward to reading them, and another one that I picked up for myself is Descender Volume 1. This is Tin Stars, and it's by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen. 
I loved the first four issues. Um, I love the art style. It's very, very watercolour based. It's really, really subtle in places and it's really dark in places. It's basically a sort of sci-fi futuristic story about this little robot child who is trying to escape from being captured. A lot of the robots have been caught and killed and smushed up and destroyed in this universe but he is a robot child who hasn't and we're basically following his story and travelling around all of the sort of core planets. I think there's about 12 core planets that we go around to at different points in the story and I'm very excited to read issue 5 and 6 which make up this volume because I've already read the first four but I will probably reread the first four and then just read 5 and 6 as well. I would say this is probably a series better read as one complete volume than it is issue by issue because it's a bit confusing if you read the first issue on its own but I do really enjoy it, I think it's really really interesting and I definitely love the art style so well worth checking out. Now onto the stuff I got from my friends. Two of my best friends, Helen and Lauren, are super super lovely and they actually bought Pride of Baghdad for me which is by Brian K. Vaughan. I'll put a picture up because I don't have the actual thing with me. I lent it back to Lauren because I'd already read it and I loved it. So I don't have it with me but I really really enjoyed it and I have done a review of that so I'll put a link to that down below for you to check it out. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's about a pride of lions and the adventures that they go on when they accidentally get let out of the zoo because it's a war zone. It's pretty tragic, it's pretty sad, the art is incredible and I really really enjoyed reading it so I'd highly recommend that you guys go and check it out. The last ones that I got given as birthday presents were from my boyfriend and he very very kindly picked up pretty much all of Fables, like the first 10 in Fables for me. I've already read the first one which I put a picture up of, it looks like this, but I haven't read any of the others yet so I'm really really excited to continue on with the series. First off he got me a kind of spin-off book, Werewolves of the Heartland. I don't know where this fits in the series, I think it's just a spin-off because it doesn't have a number on it. So I'm assuming it is just a spin-off book. It is by Bill Willingham. Will a reformed Big Bad Wolf revert to his savage past? Bigby Wolf embarks on a quest throughout the American heartland to find a new location for Fable Town, a secret society of exiled fairy tale characters living among the Mundies. In his wanderings, he stumbles across Story City, a small town that seems to be occupied solely by werewolves. Oddly enough, they already seem to know and revere Bigby, but at the same time, they've captured and caged him. So that sounds pretty interesting. I do really like the Fables books actually um, and I'm so happy that he bought them for me because they're pretty pricey. I don't know if I love the art style, I must say the art style is not my favourite but I do like the storyline a lot of them so very excited for that. And then the rest that he got me are just the continuations of the series. So the second one in the series is Animal Farm and the artwork inside is like very very similar in all of them. The third one is called Storybook Love um, this one's a bit chunkier, but again, the artwork is pretty much the same. The fourth one is called March of the Wooden Soldiers. And again, this one's really chunky, actually. This one might be one of the biggest yet. Number five is called The Mean Seasons. Number six is called Homelands. Number seven is Arabian Nights and Days. Number eight just seems to be called Wolves. Number nine is Sons of Empire. Again, this one's quite a chunky one. And number 10 is The Good Prince. So I think they all take different influences and different stories and they basically just redo them and do them in their own way and, and contribute them into the Fables world. So it sounds like it's going to be fun. And I'm really looking forward to diving into this headlong and just hopefully really enjoying them all. We'll see, but I'm sure I will definitely enjoy them and I will be doing reviews, probably joint reviews of a few of them at the same time for you guys when I read them. So definitely let me know if you've read Fables or any of the others that I mentioned. I'm very very grateful for everything that I was given by friends and by my boyfriend so thank you all so so much. You are lovely, I love you and I am so so excited to read everything because it's going to be crazy. It's going to take me a long time to get through all of these graphic novels and I will definitely be excited too. So thank you everyone. Thank you guys all for watching. Let me know any comments that you have about any of the stuff I've shown you and I will chat to you all soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat